It is week nine. Crazy week nine already. Whew. Yeah. That's like yeah. a uh, an amazing trade deadline. Man, it was... It delayed our videos. It did. Yeah. <laughs> you know the only thing better than recording videos once a week? Mm. Recording the same video twice a week. Twice, yeah. So we recorded on Monday. Yep. Everything changed on Tuesday. Yeah. So here we are recording Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. You'll probably see this Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Yeah. And man, that was kind of exciting. It was. It was. It was. Uh, I mean, you're not used to an NFL trade deadline like that. No, no. You, you would expect it in you know NBA or something. Something. Yeah, that was some crazy. big names. Man, some more people that are relevant now. Yeah, yeah. Kind of relevant. Yeah, I mean, here and there. It's gonna have a ripple effect. Man. Yeah, it's gonna shake up a it little will. bit. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna get into our start sits for quarterbacks for the week. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna break it up here for you. Instead of having one long video. We'll get you one video for each position so that way you don't have to, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you can listen to what you want. Exactly. We're all about giving you what you want. Yeah. And so these are bold picks, too. Bold buddy. ones. Yeah. We're going, a little, <laughs> we're going a little crazy this week. Yeah. This is the time of year where you got to shake it up a little bit, be a little bold. Exactly. Make that playoff run. Yeah. Or stay in the playoff hunt. Whatever yeah. it is. Yes, sir. So let's get started with some quarterbacks. Mac, who you got? All right. Well, I'm going to start off with uh, Mr. Brissett going against the Texans this week. And, um, and again, you know, I know people are going to be like, Jacoby Brissett, really? Well, he's a ser- serviceable uh, quarterback. Easy for you to say. Yeah, exactly. Um, and here's the thing. The Texans are not as stout as they were at the beginning of the season. You know, that we've had some, you know, tough injuries, you know, especially uh, J.J. Uh, Spearhead and that whole uh, defense. And then looking back on this past week, you know, Russell threw for over 400 yards. And I get it. I know people are going to say, well, Jacoby's not on that same level. But in the same token, you got to understand, I mean, he's got weapons. Jack. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh yeah, on. let's get it because I was about to slip. Jack. Doyle. <laughs> I mean, he looked like Grunk slash Kelsey all rolled in one. Yeah, he was, he was what you would call active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot of targets going that way. Lots of targets. And, you know, the talk here uh, the past few hours, uh, the coach has been talking about um, getting Brissett, the, uh, no, excuse me, not Brissett, but getting T.Y. the ball. You know, I guess he's been complaining a little bit. I think he's got like five catches over the last three weeks. Yeah. So I can almost guarantee that he's going to get more than five. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you know, he's a, he's still a top-notch you know wide receiver. So, you know, I really uh, – like I said, we're going bowl, but I think Jacoby, you know, can put up a line anywhere from like maybe 200, 205, somewhere in there. That's mm-hmm. the floor. You know what I mean? And uh, But, you know, he can use his legs, so his ceiling could be high, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. So And plus, I mean, there's a lot of bye weeks this week. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a lot of fantasy players on bye. I mean, yep. there's people out there starting Big Ben, Tom Brady, yeah. Philip Rivers. Mm-hmm. Probably not too many people starting Case Keenum. No. Mitch Trubisky. Everybody's starting Deshaun Kaiser, though. So, I mean, yeah. that, that's a big hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah, I mean, Jacoby Brissett, great option. I'm going to go mm-hmm. with uh, Tyrod Taylor this week. Okay. I'm going to show some love to the Bills. Yeah. The Ooh. newly acquired Kelvin Benjamin. KB. It's a big target. Yeah. Big body target now for Tyrod. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's slowly. Mm-hmm. I mean, Clay is getting closer. Yeah. He's not yeah. playing this week, possibly next week. Right. Uh, I mean, they're not rushing him back, but mm-hmm. Jordan Matthews is back. Yeah. This will open up the field a little bit more for some Zay Jones. Hopefully. Maybe. And they still got Shady. I mm-hmm. mean, all of a sudden, the Bills off to a great start to the year. Yep. Are getting better. Oh, yeah. And I remember remember week one, we were all talking mm-hmm. about oh, the Bills have cashed it in. Yeah. And now they're in the thick of things. And mm-hmm. they look great. The defense... Definitely carrying them. Yep. Tyrod going up against the Jets this week with his newly acquired weapons. Mm-hmm. Love me some Tyrod Taylor this week. Absolutely, man. I mean, he's – a lot of people, you know, thought he was like the second coming of Mike Vick at one point. You know, same uh, – uh, was it VTech? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, and he uses his legs and he's got a good arm. Uh, Cam was not as accurate per se, but uh, Tyrod's pretty accurate. Yeah, Tyrod's got a great – Got a great arm, moves around great. Yeah, with the weapons playing against the Jets, not a solid, de- you know, mm-hmm. not a solid offense. The only issue that we could see with Tyrod is that the Jets uh, can't score on that defense as much. Right, and this may be a heavy shady game in the in the second half. Yeah, but with the Bills' momentum, I could see them mm. trying to get more of a rhythm going, get Kelvin going, 
Yeah. And I'm not going to say run the score up, but, right. you know, make sure that offense is clicking on all cylinders because with that defense, yeah. they could be scary down the stretch. Yeah, that's true. Well, my next guy, you know, we're going to stick with that same game, you know, and like I said, we're going bowl. Uh, I like Josh McCown this week. You know, he has really shown that he's been consistent over the past, like, four games, man. It's in, like, your regular standard six-point touchdown leagues. You know, he's been averaging around about 22, you know, 25 points a game. I mean, that's it's pretty impressive. For Josh McCown, yeah. And for the Jets. The J- I, mean, I mean, you know, you got – It's the Jets. Exactly. It's Robbie Anderson and Jermaine ASJ? Kurtz and ASJ. You know, I, I like the underdog – uh, story man and he's one of those guys you know mm-hmm. what I mean he's he was highly talented coming in and uh, he's got so much talent and I you know I'm glad to see it come around you know he's got his life together so you know Josh McCown looks pretty good against the Bills I can actually think you know I see this game being a pretty high scoring game honestly it could be I mean like you I know? said I, that defense in Buffalo is is stiff mm-hmm. but with that offense they've, they've seemed to be going pretty well for yeah. what it is that they have yeah. I mean, they're just winging it. Old man Forte looks good. I mean, for Forte. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he don't look like no, you know, <laughs> you know Todd Gurley or anything out well, there. No, 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 no. But he looked good for an old man. Yeah, well, they, and, and, you know, they're giving him the carries. You know, everybody thought McGuire was going to be the guy. You know, and blah, pa. Blah, pa. You know, I don't know what happened to him. Yeah. He don't even know what happened exactly. to him. Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little dicey. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's the Jets, so that's kind of what you expect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they've been doing, they've well been exceeding expectations for mm-hmm. the year. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, man, it was like eight, nine weeks ago. I think I bash this guy every week. <laughs> oh yeah. And now, <laughs> and now I'm gonna suggest you start him. Yeah. Uh, hasn't been great as late, but Jared Goff mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, gets the Giants this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Giants will not have Janoris Jenkins. It doesn't sound like. Jack Rabbit. The Jackrabbit. Uh, so that's going to open up a little bit of the secondary. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe this is the week that Sammy gets going again. Right. At this point, I've kind of lost any hope. Right, right. I mean, we've been telling people to drop Sammy. Yeah, yeah. And I stick by it. I don't think, <laughs> even if he has one decent game, hmm. he's not going to put on a, stri- a streak of games here where it's going to carry your team. No, no. I mean, he's just not that involved. Maybe they put a little bit more during the bye week, but... Mm-hmm. I'll pass. Jared Goff, they're going to throw a lot. Todd yeah. Gurley can catch passes out of the backfield. Yeah. They can score oh, in yeah. L.A. Uh, it's going to be played in New York. Yeah. So, I mean, there's something we need to keep an eye on the weather. Yeah. The weather over there this time of year can always get a little, yeah. little dicey. Exactly. But if it's good weather, Jared Goff, plenty of opportunity to have a, a great game. I'm looking for about 275 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah. Sounds good. I Take mean, it. All day long. All day. Twice on Sunday. You know, and then you got Higby and um, – Gerald Everett, hopefully he can start to, you know, be like they thought he was going to be. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? He's got so much talent, though, man. I mean, it's. It don't matter if it's on the bench. Oh, that's true. That's true. He's the bench, he, best bench tight end in the league. Ever. <laughs> All right. Well, and again, you know, I mentioned this guy a few minutes ago. And with the whole shakeup of the uh, trade deadline on yesterday, Mr. Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. You're going against. He Atlanta. lost a weapon. He did, but let's let's revert back to th- 2015 when Cam Newton was in that. You know, uh, the talks for being MVP. Cam Newton was phenomenal, and he didn't have Kelvin. You know, at that point in time, uh, the running game wasn't that great. Cam pretty much did it all. I know coming into this season, they wanted to, you know, kind of steer away from him running the ball, but he's not going to have a choice. You have to run that rock. He's going to have to run the rock. So, you know, it's going to be a blessing in disguise, I think. Um, I think they're going to get Samuel uh, McCaffrey, you know, um, Shepard. They're going to get those guys involved. Maybe, John, some, maybe some Curtis Samuel Yeah, out of the slot. Maybe you can see yeah. the, a little bit more of that rookie. Exactly. I mean, he's got plenty of weapons still. Yeah. They're just not – I can't say they're not big weapons because Funches is still – yeah. Big, but the only issue with Funches, we've already been getting a lot of questions about Funches. Right. Here's my take on Funches. I don't really like Funches. No. Personally, great guy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Fantasy wise, no thank you. Right, right. He struggled as the number two against the team's number two 
cornerback. Exactly. What's it going to be like when he's going up against the opposite team's number one? Right. Doesn't get any easier for him. His job just got harder. Yes, he may get more targets, but he's going to have to work harder for it. Yeah. And if he struggled and was inconsistent with what he had before, mm-hmm. he's going to do the same thing again. Well, and, you know, I had to go back and double check, but I'm almost uh, certain the target share, uh, the total actually, he was leading KB. I think uh, Funches had like 59 on the year thus far. KB had like uh, 51. So he was getting his fair share, and, you know, Kelvin was still scoring more than him. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see a big uptick with uh, Funches. Again, like I said, I, I think uh, McCaffrey is going to benefit the most and look out for two tight end sets coming. As in? Dixon. Dixon and, and uh, who? Olsen. I think he'll be back. You think so? I think this so. week? Well, they said he may practice this week. Yeah, he may practice. I mean, it may not be till next week or so, but yeah. yeah. I mean, when he comes back. Yeah. I mean, they're still in the thick of things, mm-hmm. so they still got something to play for. Yeah. It's interesting. I think it'll happen, man. So, you know, my whole take on it is, you know, Cam's going to start producing like he did a couple years ago. And, again, it's going to open that whole offense up, so it's going to make them more versatile. Um uh, you know, more difficult for actually defenses to try to figure out what they're going to do. So, yeah, I definitely like Cam this week, though, against Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. Hot Atlanta? Hot Atlanta. That's right. Uh, their defense is decent Yeah. in Atlanta, but they're not no. dominant by any means. No. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get into a couple sits. All right. Um, I was going to let you start off because – yeah. I don't want to take somebody off your list, but after the last show we had, you kept on going and you took all my time. I did. So I'm going to keep talking this time. <laughs> uh, one of my sits this week, I'm, oh. I'm going to sit, mm-hmm. and this is a little... Right. I don't know. I like Derek Carr, but I'm going to sit Derek Carr this week. Okay. Uh, this is a perfect week for him to have a bounce back against Miami. Right. But the reason I say this is I think Miami kind of just got a wake-up call yeah. with the Jay Ajayi trade. Mm-hmm. I think they kind of realized that if he was expendable... Yep. And that he could just be traded on a whim. Right. What's keeping any of these guys else's job? Exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a little bit more of a fire from Miami that's going to be in Miami. Yeah. yeah. Derek Carr does have the weapons. Mm-hmm. He's still got Cooper and Crabtree, and yeah. Lynch will be back for this game. Mm-hmm. But it's just not. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, I, I yeah. don't want to take a chance on it. There's too many variables in this game. Yes. To where they could come out and absolutely dominate. Yeah, yeah. And then they may come out and absolutely not dominate. And Derek Carr could have a great game. But mm-hmm. I, I'd rather go with somebody a little bit more solid like the Tyrod Taylor mm-hmm. than Derek Carr. It's just uh, crazy things happen when players get motivated like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the look at the Ravens last Thursday. Phew, Their quarterback went out and that defense all of a sudden just got that attitude and that swagger back. That's all it takes. And that's all it takes. Yeah. They have the talent. Mm-hmm. They just need that swagger. And if Miami Dolphins can get it, they got a lot of playmakers on defense. Yes, indeed. And it's so funny because, you know, sports as a whole, um, a lot of it, you know, it's 80% mental, you know, 20% physical, man. It's it's So if you got that mentality to go out there and, and do the Darren Grown thing, man, they'll do it. Ain't nothing to it. But to do it, but baby. do it. Um, I tell you, this guy, he hasn't been playing well since the Super Bowl. Did he play well in the Super Bowl? He did the first half. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, it was like, where'd he go? Yep. But um, my sit is Matt Ryan, you know, again, versus, uh, versus the uh, Panthers. He just hadn't been clicking. That whole offense, you know, I mean, the running backs have been doing decent. You know, Freeman's banged a little bit. Um, but, you know, again, Tevin is still um, – he's an RB1 in the in the wings just waiting, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, for the opportunity. And I think he'll get that somewhere else next year. But anyway, that's another um, – It's another episode. Another episode. But, yeah, Matt Ryan, he's just – he hadn't, hadn't been looking um, in sync, especially with Julio. Um, you got a big target like that, man. It's just you got to feed him the rock over and over and over again. And it just it hadn't been happening. You know, the offensive line is not, you know, as potent as they used to be. I think, like I said, uh, the OC, when they lost him, it it hurt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It hurt a lot. So and He was a big part of that. And people don't realize it. Yeah. Just being a coach on the sideline. Shanahan, mm-hmm. Shanahan made the Falcons' offense what it was last year. Yes. And without Shanahan, they are not – 
Ain't the same at all. No. They don't have those those big plays. They don't have those, mm-hmm. you know, quick screen plays to Taylor Gabriel that are working out. It's just, it's different. Yeah, yeah. It's just different. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with another sit that a lot of people probably are going to sit him anyway. Mm-hmm. But he is somebody who's been talked about a lot lately. Should I start him? Should I not? Yep. Andy Dalton. Right. Got a lot of weapons there. You got the Croft and mm-hmm. AJ Green and Mixon and John Ross, maybe if Marvin yeah. Lewis decides to play him this week. Yeah. Uh, but they're going to Jacksonville at Jacksonville. And I will consistently answer every advice question this week. Mm. Sit everybody against Jacksonville. Yeah. It's just not mm. it's <laughs> not worth it. That defense is yeah. That defense is the equivalent to what Denver and Seattle have been here the past few years. Yeah. They're dominant. Right. And you just want to limit the amount of people you're playing with it. If you have A.J. Green, you mm-hmm. may end up having to start him, but mm-hmm. don't expect a whole lot against Jacksonville. Not at all. It's a it's a scary place to go play. Yeah. Saxonville. Saxonville. That's right. And that's what's going to happen to that's what's going to happen to Dalton this week. Lots of Saxons. He's going to- <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. Um Another sit, then this is a stud, man. And again, you know, I want to say that if you don't have a better option, you know, you're going to have to play him. But Jameis Winston, I don't really like him this week, you know, going against the Saints. Man, that, that defense, it, it's like a 360 from last year. You used to start everybody against the Saints. Everybody. It didn't matter. Milkman. Whoever. It didn't matter. Yeah. I mean, but, and you know, Jameis, I think he's still lingering, you know, with that. Uh, injury, man, it's just it doesn't look. He doesn't look a hundred percent. You know, I think he can still, you know, come in and have decent, you know, games. But the Saints at home, man, that's gonna be tough. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a tough game, yep. and uh, I just don't, I don't like him this week at all. There's, yeah, I mean, the way Jameis's shoulder is, I mean, from what it sounds like, is that injury is gonna be there all year long. Mm-hmm. He's not gonna heal. Right. He doesn't have a bye week to rest anymore. Mm-hmm. What he's got is what he's got, and it's going to have to deal with it for the rest of the season. Yeah. He's going to have, like you said, he's going to have great games. He's going to have bad games. The one good thing is that team's always going to be throwing. So right. he's always going to have the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. It's just sometimes he throws it to the other team. Yeah. And, and then, you, know, you know, it's a pain tolerance type of thing. Mm-hmm. And he's a tough dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But again, I mean, if you're throwing it so many times a game, eventually it's going to wear on and you. Especially if you're getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it even worse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with one that, in my last sit of the week here is he's a bigger name. Mm-hmm. He's a great quarterback. Yeah, Kirk Cousins. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be going to Seattle, mm-hmm. the place where they just got torched by Deshaun Watson. Yeah, yeah. I have to I have to think that that defense mm-hmm. is just beyond irritated right now. Yeah, yeah. They just got embarrassed Man. by a rookie. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, they won the game, mm-hmm. but they got embarrassed. Deshaun Watson did anything he wanted to. Yeah, Kirk Cousins has weapons, but yeah. Pryor's not around. Reed's always hurt. Yeah, he's relying on Doxon, who <laughs> all he does is catch one yard touchdown passes. Mm-hmm. Crowder's finally starting to come around, but Crowder's not going to single handedly take over a game. No, the running game can't get going. Right. I just don't like it this week. This is something where Kirk Cousins going to Seattle. It, it, this could get ugly really quick. Mm-hmm. Seattle could come out and have that swagger that like we were talking about earlier. Yep. And it won't take very long. And the way that their offense is playing, mm-hmm. and they just got one of the best left tackles in football. Yeah. Russell gets even more time, mm-hmm. finally. Yeah. I mean, there's like a handful of left tackles in the league that are worth anything. Right. And they just got one of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that helps out drastically oh yeah he's not gonna have to worry about his blind side he's gonna have more time to make the throws Mm -hmm. and washington could be out of the game pretty quick yeah and again like i said if that offense starts to click man and kurtz forced to just force the ball and start throwing it yeah sherman and the boys are gonna they might pick off a couple if not they're gonna hit somebody hard yeah Somebody's going to feel the pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not the Legion to boom anymore, but somebody may get boomed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, again, like I said, I, yeah, I agree with you on that, man. They they got too much pride up there, man. And, uh, I can't see that another uh, performance like last week. And my sit of the, uh, the last sit of the week is Mariota. You know, Marcus Mariota. Yeah. I uh, He's kind of like Jameis in a sense. You know, where he's playing through, you know, some nagging injuries and stuff. And he hadn't put it 
they hadn't put it all together yet. Mm-hmm. Running game, I think, will be okay. Even though they're going against the Ravens, you know, that dynamic duo, smash mouth, whatever we want to call it, you know, with Henry and, uh, you know, uh, Murray. Murray, you know, they're, they're going to do that thing. You know, but Mariota, I just don't trust his weapons right now. Corey Davis is back, but they're going to slowly – you know, it's kind of going to depend on Delaney Walker a little bit too. That too, and he he can't really stay healthy. No, I you mean he's dealing too. with an injury. There's not even for sure if he's going to play or not right. this week. If he sits, it's even worse for Mariota. Oh man, yeah. Because like you said, they're going to ease Corey Davis back in. Mm-hmm. They are very careful with him, and they took a little bit longer to bring him back. Yeah, he could be huge down the stretch. Oh, absolutely. But I mean, if he's all they got, they <laughs> <laughs> he can only do so much. Yeah. So if Delaney Walker's out, definitely Marcus Mariota. Yeah. He, he's a lot of talent. Yeah. He's absolutely. not going to get a lot of the rushing right now with his mm-hmm. hamstring issues. Yeah. Which kind of limits him a little bit. But Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got a tough one this week, especially yeah. if Walker's out. Absolutely. So we appreciate it. That was our uh, our start sits for quarterback this week. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you're hitting that like button, helping us out. Ask us questions. We answer all the questions. Yes. We get thousands of questions. Yeah. We try to answer as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, the more questions we get asked, though, the longer it takes to answer them. So yeah. just be patient with us. We'll get to you. We ain't going to leave you hanging. Right, right. Uh, make sure you reach out to us on Twitter, Gmail, however, whatever you got. Find us. Get a hold of us. We'll help you out. Yeah. Help you make those decisions. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. And uh, be looking out for the running backs, wide receivers, and our tight end video. Yeah. Uh, we'll get you all set up for the week. Yeah. Spread the word. That's Let right. Spread the word. That, hey, we'll ask the questions. No. So. I mean, anything. I got my phone with me all the time. And I got two phones. Look at that. And, and they're not even props. That ain't, yeah, exactly. Those are real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a good rest of your week. We appreciate you. Thanks. Peace.